Hello Galaxy Heroes. So we've got another GAC here. This isn't my cunt, this is your cunt. So yep, this is Yorkie. Um, Yorkie's got some strong geos. Uh, I'd like to use them against the Night Sisters because they can quite often post maximum banners against them because they just, you know, they heal on every attack. And yeah, and obviously they can also nullify zombie quite easily as well. So, yeah, that's what we do. 60 banners. Yay! Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> looking here, we've got a couple of Zetas and a Gear 12 character in the Ewoks. Um, Ewoks. Everyone advises not to set them on defense. However, if they're modded well, they can really trip people up. Uh, is it Paplu gets 25% of his speed added on and there's loads of healings and buffs and group attacks and yada yada yada. So you really can get caught out. I mean, some people put them in as a lure. And uh, so that was me looking through and just scoping out what I'm looking at and also kind of planning on what I'm using where ergo what I can't use against the Ewoks that was the main thing I knew the Ewoks were a a tricky one you know this is Yorkie Yorkie's 4.6 million GP um, a lot of that GP is actually in ships because Yorkie really has focused on ships Yorkie normally is top 10 in shard rewards so and can take first um, so yeah, and I personally I think it's worth investing um, in arena in in normal tune arena. Uh, Yorkies kind of one eighties, one nineties. So I'm getting seventy five crystals from arena, and I'm getting between two and four hundred, two hundred and four hundred from my fleet. That's the math. So I opt to use my now semi-famous Vader because he was maxed before as you can see none of these other than Vader I mean Vader's gear 11 um, none of these are that great there's a screenshot or the thumbnail um, but yeah I just uh, I thought you know what it, it, this squad I don't think my Thrawn isn't great I mean my Thrawn will go with any AoE against anything decent so uh, yeah not really worthwhile using that. Um, and my Shaw, yeah, he, he, he's seven star, but he's gear eight or something. So, yeah, it's not. <clears throat> it's a great squad once you're all geared. Um, actually, yeah, we've got to look at this and say that <laughs> this one doesn't do too badly. Um, and we just drop a few banners for sure not having full defense so that's that tier taken out and now we can see what's in the back Ugh. so we've got a tray lead with both zetas um i don't think we've got nihilus in there though which is quite fortunate Ooh. sorry slurp of tea uh here i've opted to just mirror um Okay, I've worked on my clones. My clones are relict. Shakti isn't, as you can see, she's gear nine, but I believe she's double zated now. Um, just because, I mean, eventually I'll be able to uh, get her geared up and get them higher relict, and then we can start seeing if uh, Yorkie can contribute to the, the camshard haul. Um, but this one, yeah. I mean, it's the standard one, isn't it? Take out Shaq. She stops, you know, once she's gone, they don't get the retribution. Fives first, so they don't get all the buffs. And then just pick them off. Rex, Arc, Echo, or whichever way around you want to do it. Okay. Um, so we've got a Relic 2 single Zated um, crew there under first order so it's like well what am i going to use there um i think i get a bit cheeky with this one i'm not sure 
or am I going... You know what, I've watched this and I still can't remember. Uh, I'm waiting for that thing to whiz through because I'm obviously really deliberating on what the hell, what am I looking at there? What really... Mm, uh, Phoenix again. Um, oh man, I lost a round on the main account on Phoenix because I tried a, a, a Rolo, Rolo squad. That's gonna. I still got PTSD on that. I think I still, yeah. So <clears throat> I go elect my bounty hunters. I've got a, a Dengar is great. Zam is brilliant considering her the low level of gear that she is. Um, she is fantastic, and Dengar is is a great one just for that. The um, Zalbar is stunned. Um, and dispelled so we can focus on the others for the moment and I've also got Boba in there who can also get rid of the Torn or just focus on anyone else but I do want T3 gone huh. I didn't elect to go for T3 although I think the next time T3 moves he's going to die and it's just worth how much damage he's going to do to us. Right, we got him gone. Yay. Okay, so now the heal begins and we've got to work through this uh, stubborn Zalbar. I can't quite see. Is that six? And he's got quite a few thermals on him. Again, Zam, brilliant. Not only does she throw thermals out, but then she does her special, which adds to the pot and then you've got Dengar who's going to pop up every now and again and do his AoE which also puts loads of um, thermals down as you can see um, and that's what we've gone with here boom so now yeah you can hide now you can't hide because we can see the and boom 60 points in the end and that's obviously the way that I've elected to set my Gax up. Um, so we've still got the Phoenix and we've got those two down below. Those two, I think, is where we're now going to focus. Uh, I'm not going to mess about with this. Go into Sith Empire. Um, and then, um, unfortunately, I can't match their, their first order. So I'm going to be using crew as my tank and I think I'm throw I'm using what as well yeah so this is my hodgepodge because I don't have a full Sith Empire or anything in my <clears throat> I'm working on Mr. Red on Yorkie Mr. Red is now gear 11 uh six stars farming him every day uh he's gonna make a massive uh contribution to Yorkie's efforts I think and I'm also obviously for, uh, farming Hux as well Hux is lower on the gear um, but they're both on the final um, 137 and 40 something is where they are so I've got a long way to go that was really easy in fact that was over over the top I used too much here um, okay so yeah, I, I looked, I was going to be really cheeky and try and... The big reason why I underman my CLS Rebels is because if I put anyone else in there, they get Chewie's Guarded or whatever instead of CLS. So uh, my concern here was if that if I under underdid it, undermanned it, um, and it all went... Pete Tong, um, I was uh, up that creek with paddle less. So, and this one, I thought, you know what, I could probably heal up and everything with who's on there. So we get the sixty banners there and take care of that. So that's the bottom tier done. So now we have uh, the Phoenix, and now of course um, I'm feeling brave enough that I can just use these three. Um, get rid of Zeb because Zeb can daze on his basic. Um, 
Can we get rid of Ezra? Yes, we can. So now all we've got to worry about is Chopper, no, Egon, and Hera doesn't really pose too much problem. So 62 banners there. So we're getting the banner count up. We're doing the Underman squad. And finally, on to Shippy Whips. Um, I know I moan about... Um, I, don't, I can't believe that I didn't realise what I did there. Milf shouldn't have been in there. It should have been fives. Um, I screwed up royally. And then it was like, what? So, um... It does make me wonder what I set in my ships. Oh, I know what I'd... I'm setting, uh, I've got a Malev and I'm just throwing that in now because um, that can be problematic. In fact, the previous round, my Malev had a hold. So, uh, yeah, and it's it's not good. We're talking the Restar Vulture, um, four-star Hyena Bomber. So, but I do have a Relic to Griever, so that's why that's in. But this is going a lot better than I thought it would. So this is my standard game plan. Um, if I'm not dazed, I will bring in um, Xanadu Blood, a Cad Bane ship, because if Houndstooth is taunting, then it, it continues the taunt, it hits like a truck, and gives everyone retribution. So it's a pretty cool ship to call in, if you can, if you're not dazed, and, you know, and it's counterproductive. So there we go. There's the clear. I can report back that Yorkie has won this round. Um, yeah, so 20, 30 points or something. Pretty close. But that's it. That's Yorkie's gag. Thank you for watching.